Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to the 5 Tableau series with Min Malhotra. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Well, today while walking by a hospital, I, I came across this billboard which said, no kids, come to us and we can fix that. We can help you make some babies with our newest innovation called the IVF technique. I was immediately intrigued and fascinated. What is this technique, the IVF, that can make babies? That means you don't need mums anymore? So I went on the internet and I searched and searched and searched. And what I found was something very fascinating. Not only fascinating, but beyond anything that had ever been done up till now. In 1978, a new technique called the in vitro fertilization was developed. Now, in vitro, word by word, in Latin means in vitrum or in glass. The IVF technology or the in vitro fertilization technology was a method to make babies in glass or technically in a test tube made of glass. Hence, these babies are also called a test tube baby. It has since become the most successful method of helping infertile couples have babies. Can you imagine how incredible that is? To develop a human life form outside its natural environment, that is a mother's womb. Robert Edwards and Patrick Steptoe but the two scientists were responsible for this incredible discovery. On 25th of July 1978, they supervised an IVF procedure that resulted in the first test tube baby ever, who was named Louise Brown. In the in vitro fertilization, the sperm from the father and the ovum from the mother are put together in a glass dish and allowed to fertilize on their own. Once fertilization is done, the resultant embryo is then placed in the mother's womb or the mother's uterus. Now nature takes its course. The embryo comes to full term in the mother's womb and voila, after nine months, you have a beautiful baby. Now all this may sound very simple, but the entire procedure requires a lot of hormonal medication and close supervision. Before implantation, the fertilized embryo may be held in a, in a nutritious solution, which may be a glass tube, hence the term a test tube baby. The most risky part of the procedure is to implant the fertilized embryo in the mother's uterus, which requires using a ultrasound guided needle. Now conception happens only if the embryo is firmly and properly lodged in the uterine walls. Now, if that doesn't happen, it's no show. A doctor's expertise is needed only up till this point. So you see, there can be many a slip between the cup and the lip. Now, simply if the fertilization does not occur properly, if the in vitro medium is not nutritious enough, if the fertilized egg is not lodged well enough or simply if nature does not support this process, we have a no-go case of an unsuccessful pregnancy. By July 2015, the IVF method was responsible for nearly 5 million test tube babies. It made millions of parents and grandparents very happy. These scientists indeed deserve a Nobel Prize for this invention and indeed Robert Edward did get the Nobel Prize in 2010 for his achievements in physiology and medicine. If you want to know more about such fascinating inventions, do subscribe to our channel, leave a comment behind and we can bring more such wonderful videos for you.